Today, we're going to talk about a story that starts at the crossroads of two of humanity's biggest dreams, reaching for the stars and creating artificial intelligence. It's a story about a little device, something you can literally hold in one hand, but it's so powerful it could totally change the game for developers, researchers, and creators everywhere. And really, it all kicks off with this one quote, this one single image from NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Hong. Imagine delivering the smallest supercomputer next to the biggest rocket. It perfectly captures the wild contrast at the heart of this whole thing. I mean, it sounds like something straight out of science fiction but it sets the stage perfectly for a revolution that is happening as we speak. Okay, so let's get into it. To really get why this new gadget is such a big deal, you have to understand where it was first shown to the world. And this was not your typical tech conference, you know, in some boring auditorium. No way. This story begins at a rocket launch site. Just try to picture it. You're at Starbase, Texas, home of SpaceX. You're just surrounded by these massive machines towering engines, the sun gleaming off all this stainless steel that's literally reaching for the sky. The whole place is built on the absolute edge of what's possible. And right there, in the middle of all this epic industrial power, something really quiet and symbolic is about to completely change the way we think about AI. And what's so incredible about this moment is the sheer contrast in scale. I mean, look at this. On one side, you have Elon Musk and SpaceX with Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built. It's a massive monument to engineering. And then on the other side, you've got Jensen Huang from NVIDIA, and he's holding a device you could easily slip into a backpack. He's there to deliver the DGX Spark, the world's smallest AI supercomputer. It's a meeting of two revolutionary ideas, one that's reaching for the cosmos and another that's bringing that cosmic level power right down to your desktop. So that symbolic meeting really sets the stage perfectly, but it leaves us with this huge question, right? What in the world is this DGX Spark? What makes a device that small worthy of being shown off next to a literal starship? Okay, here's the nuts and bolts of it. The DGX Spark is the world's first truly portable grab-and-go AI supercomputer. For years, this kind of power has been locked away in these massive climate-controlled data centers, and you can only get to it over a network. The Spark is meant to completely shatter that idea. It's all about bringing that insane computational power out of the server farm and putting it on your desk, in the lab, or heck, anywhere you want to take it. And this is the number that just changes everything. One petaflop. But what does that actually mean? Well, a petaflop is a quadrillion. That's a thousand trillion calculations per second. We're talking about a one with 15 zeros after it. It's a number that's just hard to even wrap your head around. To give you some perspective, just 10 years ago, getting that kind of speed meant you needed a machine the size of several refrigerators, and it would use a crazy amount of power. And now, NVIDIA has squeezed all of that staggering power into a device you can hold. This isn't just a small step up. It's a completely different league. So who gets to use all this power? Well, this machine is built for the people who are really on the front lines of innovation. We're talking developers building the next big thing, researchers pushing the limits of science, and creators who are dreaming up totally new kinds of art. For them, being able to run these massive AI models, models with over 200 billion parameters on their own local machine, that is a complete game changer. It means you can try things faster, experiment more, and you're completely free from the limits of the cloud. The bottom line is this. It puts petaflop AI quite literally within arm's reach. So we've talked about the what, now let's get into the how. How on earth did NVIDIA's engineers manage to cram so much horsepower into such a tiny box? It's time to pop the hood and take a look at the engine room of the DGX Spark. Before we dive into the specs and the chips, let's just take a second to appreciate the thing itself. It's described as being the size of a piece of origami paper and about as thick as a hardcover book. And get this, it weighs just 1.2 kilograms, so about 2.6 pounds. But don't let that tiny size fool you. The analogy here is just perfect. This little box is like a rocket engine for AI. It gives you all the raw power you need to get these huge computational jobs off the ground in an instant. At the heart of that engine, of course, is the hardware. The core of it all is the NVIDIA GB100 Grace Blackwell Superchip. That's where that petaflop of performance comes from. But you know what's really revolutionary for developers? The 128 gigabytes of unified memory. This means the CPU and GPU are sharing the same pool of memory, which gets rid of that slow, clunky process of copying data back and forth. Think of it this way. It used to be like two master craftsmen having to pass a project back and forth. Now they're both working on it at the same time, on the same table. The speed boost you get is enormous. It lets you prototype, fine tune, and run huge models all on one machine, totally seamlessly. 
And of course, you've got all the other stuff you'd expect. Super fast networking, speedy storage, and a direct video output. Now, amazing hardware is really just a fancy paperweight without the software to make it sing. And this is where the DJX Spark goes from being just a developer box to a full-on launchpad. It comes preloaded with the entire NVIDIA AI software stack. So this isn't some empty machine you have to spend weeks setting up. Nope. It's ready to go right out of the box with frameworks, libraries, pre-trained models, and something called NVIDIA NIM microservices, which are basically these pre-packaged AI models that make deploying really complex apps incredibly simple. And this shows you exactly what you can do with it, like from day one. Let's say you're a digital artist. You can take a powerful image generation model like Flux One, and you can tweak it with your own art style, all on this one machine. Or hey, maybe you're building a new kind of search engine. You could use NVIDIA Cosmos to create agents that can actually search and understand visual data. Or you could deploy a super optimized, state-of-the-art chatbot using a model like QN3. I mean, these are projects that used to require a whole team and a huge cloud computing budget, and now you can do them on a single device sitting on your desk. When you have a device this groundbreaking, it's gonna make some waves. So now let's shift our focus from the device itself to the impact it's having. Let's see how this spark is already starting to catch fire across the entire AI ecosystem, from individual innovators all the way up to the biggest names in tech. So the DGX Spark is already in the hands of some real pioneers who are doing incredible things with it. You've got Alama, who is using it to totally rethink how developers run large language models on their own machines, making them way faster and easier to use. Zipline is using it to push the limits of autonomous delivery drones. Researchers at NYU are building new algorithms that can learn from sensitive data without ever exposing it, which is huge for privacy. Arizona State is running complex robotic simulations, and the world-famous Rafik Anadol studio is using this petaflop performance to create these breathtaking new forms of AI art. This list just shows you how incredibly versatile this platform is. And look, this isn't just some niche product for a few research labs. The names on this list, these are the giants of the PC industry. Acer, Asus, Dell, HP, Lenovo, the list goes on. All of them are building systems that are powered by the DGX Spark architecture. And what that means is this technology is going mainstream, and it's going there fast. They're basically turning the standard desktop PC into a personal AI powerhouse, making this kind of performance accessible to millions of creators and developers all over the world. So uh, let's zoom out for a second and look at the big picture. This moment at Starbase, this tiny device, it's not just a product launch. It really represents the next huge turning point in the story of artificial intelligence. It's a path that is now moving decisively beyond the data center. And this timeline really puts it all into perspective, doesn't it? Nine years ago, NVIDIA launched the DGX-1. That was the system that basically created the blueprint for the modern AI data center. It was a massive bet on the future of AI. Now, today, with the DGX Spark, that bet is moving into its next phase, taking that same supercomputing power and breaking it free from the server rack. The final step in this journey seems pretty clear, making petaflop performance a common tool, something that's within everyone's reach. And that's the whole point, right? The ultimate mission here is to democratize supercomputing power. For decades, the most powerful tools have been controlled by a handful of organizations that could afford to build and run these giant centralized facilities. We've seen this story before with mainframe computers. The DGX Spark represents a fundamental shift in that model, a lot like the PC did for computing in general. It's all about empowering the individual, the single creator, the small research team, the startup developer, with the kind of raw power that used to belong only to governments and mega corporations. And that really brings us to our final thought here. A supercomputer used to take up an entire room, now it fits in the palm of your hand. If history has taught us anything, it's that revolutions happen when powerful tools are made accessible to everyone. So the real question isn't if this is going to change things, but how. What incredible new art, what new scientific discoveries, what new industries will be born when this kind of power is truly within everyone's reach?